Stood up, Betty. His most played 24 games, 63% win rate on the Ooh. champ. Yeah. Okay, so let's start with G2's composition. We talked about how they were edging towards a bot focus with their first round of draft and by rounding out with the Gangplank and looking to try and cut Reckless and Mickey off from the jung the bot side focus that G2 have drafted for themselves. But the early push here from G2 could deny Matt a lot. There's the Guardian on Kaiser. Mickey's ignited, he's ticking away. Flash forward into the chomp for Kaiser. Flash away, no vision from Kaze on Mickey. First kill goes over to Reckless. Mickey trying to dodge around. There's some alcove gaming, but it's just going to be a short break here for Mickey. You have to think, has the stun back up. Kaze uses huh. the cleanse and exchanges it one for one. Oh, and Reckless even collapsses onto El Yoya, tries to poke him out. The stun Q comes out from Cap, so a bit of trading in the mid lane already. A lot of action. And neck, bit by bit, inch by inch between these two teams every single time. Across the course of their matchup history, they've gone 11 and 13, and they're looking to add a little bit more spice to the table. Yanko's diving under the tower, flashes forward, one turret shot. The second won't follow, El Yoya flashes. Smoke oh. screen! That's why smoking kills. A great kill there for Graves as Armour now looks for a fight at the top lane. It's such a bloody game when we're only three and a half minutes in. Wonder dodges the shot blast. Armour flashes forward. 3-2 to the Mad Lions. The gold is even, but Mad lead oh, yeah. in. As we talked about, finally making his way up towards the top side. No flash on Wonder, and the wave is not a good position for him, and he's going to face check into El Yoya. Yeah, Wonder, no flash, as you say. El Yoya on the chase, the red buff slow will be ticking away, and Wonder the end of the line for him. El Yoya gets his second kill on this Graves. And I think a few fans in Twitch chat might be ruining the decision to vote for G2. It was 70-30 split in their favor, and G2 are trying to award some of those faithful fans. Mickey tanks up the tower. Cavs coming in with the gold card lock. Mickey the first to fall. Kaiser will be rendered to oblivion, and Reckless picks up his second kill. Wow, so Caps, not even level six, hits level five, and immediately uses that as an opportunity to set up the dive. Ends up being an AD carry. Versus Wonder and Yankos, because you can't hit what you can't see. Lee Sin has lived off that for his entire playing career, and now it's been he has And now El is just like, no, I'm going to use Double your stick blind. against you. <laughs> Caps, level oh, six. They're going for it. The Destiny, Mickey here as well. It's still only level three. They're going to root armor underneath the tower, and he is gone. And Luya cannot do anything to stop the G2 oncoming storm. Okay, so G2... Great job, mate. You've died a thousand times. Incredible <laughs> stuff. Good job in the LEC. Thousand deaths. Incredible. Just amazing. Amazing. Just superlative stuff from one of the best supports in our league. Now that's out of the even because every time they meet in the regular season, they go 1-1. G2 wins the first game. Mad always wins the second game throughout their history. Now G2 on the offensive again. Humanoid stand underneath the tower. The chase is on. Mickey with a shield of Daybreak will be enough. Reckless pings over to six on that dive. Now G2 is doing everything in their power to break that curse. Yes, they, they have tied the kills up. The gold is dead even once again. And it's crazy that the bot lane is even coming mid. But the entire side of G2 is constantly looking to be proactive throughout the map and look for plays wherever possible. The thing is, Mad are not going down without a fight. They're getting things elsewhere on the map. Kazi's continuing far. Kick. Yankos kicks him back, and that is a very dead El Yoya. Shut down going over to Caps as well is huge for G2. Very smooth Expecting play. Sort of what we were just talking about, decides to go for the cross map. Invests in the Herald up towards top. Good stun here from Humanoid. Caps underneath the tower. Stopwatch. Bought that early, had a big gold lead in the mid lane, was able to invest some of that into going gold. On his way towards the bot side of the map, G2 needs to recognize the potential for the collapse as Wonder Armour. gets a really good trade onto Arnold. Armour really doesn't have the mana, does get the knockback. Wonder can chase him, but with the minions there, he decides against it. And uh, for the moment, it is quieter on the rift than it has been for the rest. We'll be going back and getting that first completed item pretty soon. Now more gold being funneled into the mad AD carry. I like this investment from Mad Lions. Play towards the side of the map that has kind of predicament as he is able to walk away, but Mad Lions can now push in all five members strong in this top side. Yep, Mad just committing members to securing this tower. TP. Wonder looking to make the cross map happen. I do like this TP from Armour. Nice there's collapse. The Destiny as well. Demolish not going off on the tower. Armour clears out the wave. Humanoid comes in with a TP. Scatter the weak not yet used by Humanoid, but. The wave is cleared out. Mad Lion's able to hold onto their turret. Wonder puts a little bit of chip damage down, and there's the stun card. They know where Humanoid is, and Humanoid cannot escape the pirates. A stolen kill there by G2 under the tower, and they're looking for more as Armand has nowhere to go. Still has the flash, might hold onto it until the final moment. The wild cards are just enough damage for Caps to find his mark. Oh, wow, I can't believe top, And they will secure themselves this bot tier one. Very well played. I thought that once the TP from Humanoid had come... Colonel or Cloud for the moment, though. Caps hiding out of vision. Kaiser stepping forward. 
Mad Lions control the top side of this river. G2 control the bottom. There's a good shot blast. Caps and Yankos take a bit of a chunk. Wild cards coming out as well. Dodged the side there by Mad Lions. Rekla stacking up the Ren, stacking up the spears. Scuttle crab down. There is the dragon secured. Chain of corruption going wide. Mad Lions will disengage, but Solar Flare has been used. Kaiser the first target. Kazi flashing away. Kaiser stunned up, rooted up. Yankos tries to dive onto the back line, but can't quite kill off Kazi. Reckless though is on a rampage. Another song that wave connects. Elioya now running for the hills. Mickey dies to the tick from Elioya. But now G2 with two kills are looking for more. They get three. It's a triple for Reckless. Another Ren could make it four. Immortal Shilpo on Elioya. Reckless will not get his fourth kill of the fight. Caps takes it away. And G2 just execute the fight flawlessly. Great combination of the rend from Reckless into the execute from Yankos' Q to help them secure the drape. Then, once Mad realize that they can't leverage their poke anymore because the objective is gone, G2 gangplank. All it requires is one other person to show up. Those two ultimates to drop and you're dead. So Mad have to respect this. And look, here's the ultimate. Ping, ping, ping. The dinner bell is ringing. And Caps is looking to get a little bit more fed. Reckless is going to be gifted. The kill as armor jumps in. Reckless goes godlike. 7 0 oh, and 1 on this colors. Well played by G2. And at 20 minutes in, they are looking dominant. And they're looking to break the curse. Often been 1 1 against these two organizations every single split. This could be the first time that G2 get a solid 2 0 over their new budding rivals in Mad Lions. Notes, there would be 5,000 individual stacks of notes. But you can't really have a stack of a single note. Who uses 5, cash notes? these days, man? It's all by cards, you know what I mean? It's just going up to Boris being like, yep, yeah, chip it. Another out of step armored. Wonder doesn't have the cannon barrage. Cap's actually running all the way down here. No destiny for him. Armored. I believe saw him going over a ward here. He's going to try and TP oh, no. out. That was. Oh, yeah. no. That's not how you get out of that one. Wonder TP's down. Um, and uh, Armut, no 1v3, doesn't win these. Wonder TP'd in just to be donated the kill, it seems, as Caps lands the stun card, and Wonder takes it away. That was not good. Yeah. We saw this last week it's with Armut. Combination of items, you know? So I've got my frosty gun, like my frost frozen hose, as Mickey gets caught out a little bit. Kaiser's is going to chase him down. That subjugate doing a lot of damage, but Mickey can still flash across the wall. Caps switches away from the cleanse to a team. Look at these teams, especially when you look at how convincing Rogue has been, when how Fnatic have had such a strong split. Misfits is kind of seen as the outlier team, and they have a lot to prove as the stun card lands. Caps stepping quite far forward here as Yankos goes in for the chase. Dragon's Rage kick was used there. Kaiser now on the retreat. Armor low as well. Doesn't have the TP to rejoin the fight in the cannon barrage. Death Daughter finds its mark. Shutdown's going to. Hit there for Humanoid as Wonder will fall as well. But with five seconds left on the Drake, G2 are in a much better position to fight it. Of course, no unleashed power available for Humanoid. Good and stun uh, cards. Stopwatch. It's going to delay things for a second here. Humanoid tries to get away, but Reckless once again finds his mark. Flashes forward, has the face call. And you're being chased by the Destiny and G2 decide that they can turn back towards the dragon. So, Mad had control over mid and wanted to use that prior, forcing a decision out from G2. The TP comes in from Caps, Caps and now Armut is responding in kind. Yankos there, has the smite. Mad Lions, you're going to disengage this. Guys, he's going to eat some honey fruit, try and make this okay. Mad Lions continue on it, TP in by Wonder to the mid lane. That dragon is low, taken by Elioya. And now in a 3v4, G2 have to fight until the rest of their team can arrive, but Mickey's already down. Baron has gone over to Mad Lions here, and you can see the poke coming out from them as well. Looks like it's going to be a Cloud Soul for Baron Exchange. And just like that, we did very soon for Elioya, who probably only needs a little bit of gold left to be able to complete that item. And it gives them more opportunities to come back. Ultimate onto Reckless. Reckless rooted. Oh, almost goes down. Does still have the GA. Guardian Angel popped, and now G2 will pop the cannon barrage themselves. Reckless able to escape, overstepped a little bit there in the mid lane. Good poke there from Mad Mickey. Lions. Subjugate going down. It's going to be a very squishy Leona, but the minions get in the way of Elioya's shotgun shots. And now Mad Lions pushing in with the bound. Five members strong. Cat is split pushing. Doesn't have TP, does have heal. Of course, the unsealed spellbook to switch that one over. Has the destiny as well, but this is two quick turrets over two Mad Lions. Still a 5,000 gold lead for G2. They are still in a commanding position. The Mad Lions have shown us what they can do with <laughs> this first minute. G2 do know that they should be in there. That ward is over the wall, but it's Wonder who's forced to flash. Flashes away, able to get away. Now Caps pushing oh, in. Oh, but they're just stopping the bases so that the split push Armor's can come back. through from Caps. Armor's back, he clears the wave. Now will G2 take the fight, because that Destiny is going to be able to get Caps in range pretty soon. Armor does not have TP. Destiny still spots them. Caps on the flank, that's Humanoid. 
Pops the stopwatch, armor on his way, G2 pushing forward, Wonder doing damage, caps with the Everfrost, Yankos trying to dive onto Kazi, Humanoid locked up in spot, stunned down and he will fall, caps on a rampage, but Elioia able to get a kill in response, he killed off Reckless all by himself, who is still alive, Armit survives, Kazi survives. I mean, I think it was even three versus three around the Baron, and the Mad was still able to secure it, but now they're looking for a pick onto Humanoid. Great scout of the week there from Humanoid, Cam smashes forward into the cannon barge, and Humanoid oh, doesn't have on. a flash of his own oh. left. <laughs> to die to the cannons. Oh, that's on his Magi's. And if he can manage to get a single stun card down, you have to think G2 will win the fight. So very quickly, going to bring up the minimap. Look at all this vision that's sitting behind as well. The potential for a TP flank is real, go. but the flash engage. Flash, stun, Humanoid locked up with a solar flare. Humanoid does not get a chance to react. Mickey dived in first and immediately dive bombed onto Humanoid, who died and now G2 can fight this 4v5. I like this from Caps, go back to base, TP back in, Elioia no. loses his life. No, Elioia wins these, Elioia wins these. Yes, he does. Have you not seen what Elioia can do on a damn grave? He can do exactly that, and he's still got the smite coming up in about five seconds time to fight this one out. Caps in with a destiny, but G2 are split. They're on opposite sides of the fight, as the Elder is the target, rend available for Reckless. Elioia's in there, Yankos gets it, and now Mad Lions is the mad dash to flash away from the fight. Reckless diving in. The first First laser finds its mark, and the Mad Lions have been neutered. Yankos hits armored. Reckless goes in in the 2v2, and that is it. G2 win the fight. A huge secure for G2. Reckless. The same way again. The moment they get that Herald, Reckless flashes in. He's looking for more kills, and G2, they're on the warpath. Man, Humanoid has been a punching bag for G2 this game. You said it so well, Betty. So often the reason the Mad Lions win this time, G2 have struck him down at every single opportunity. G2 with a, I was gonna say convincing, but it wasn't quite that, a strong win here against Mad Lions as they put their name forward for top four in playoffs. They will tower dive and the face call will bring Mickey back out, but he's not done, he goes back in. G2 fighting mad on the fountain, will take the win and go to 10 and six. 1,003 total deaths now for Mickey, for those keeping count. But uh, yeah, a very dominant early game from G2. The mid game, they were very patient around the band. You could argue that like perhaps they could have been a little bit more aggressive. Perhaps they were worried when playing against that much poke. If you commit to the band.